Chrysler joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. It's a mild, clear day, so the weather won't be a factor in this battle between the Fresno State Bulldogs and the Crimson Tide of Alabama. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here comes the Crimson Tide. The Bulldogs are going to have a rough time on the field in this game. I want to hear what Kirk Herbstreit thinks. Alabama will win this football game. Alabama has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. And this one's a short kick. Number 80 takes it at the 12. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. So I talked to the offensive coaches this morning, and they seem pretty threatened by this playmaker at defensive end. And they should be, Brad. This kid was brought in to be a pass rusher, and he's been a good one throughout his career. The offensive line is going to have a rough time stopping him. You're right, Coach. And because he'll be getting all the attention, other linemen are going to have a chance to get to the quarterback as well. So this will definitely make for an interesting matchup. First and ten. Defense lines up in the 3-4. He steps up. He throws. They connect again. Not a bad pickup that time. Yeah, let me tell you the reason why this play worked. The defense came with pressure, but they couldn't quite get to the quarterback. And he made them pay right there. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. Carr lines up with four wideouts. Zips it left. He catches another. Brought down at the 21. And they're building some great momentum on this drive, guys. That's right, Brad. That was a crisp pass by the quarterback. And they're looking pretty good moving the ball right now. First and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. They use four linebackers. Carr with the give. Key with a takedown at the 17. They got four yards on that one. From the 17-yard line. It's second down and six to go. McDonald lines up in the deep back. High formation. Down the middle. It's intercepted. He threw that thing into heavy cover. Yeah, he did. The quarterback was gambling on that pass. However, he lost. So they'll start this drive deep in their own territory. They come out in a goal line set. And off to the fullback. And he's tackled at the five. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. It's second down. Number 12 with three wide receivers. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. Yep, I love this kid. He's a great run stopper as well as a great pass rusher. He's the real deal, Kirk. He can do it all. Let's see if the defense puts any pressure on him here. Play action. Throws to the middle. It's his tight end. They'll bring him down at the 19-yard line. This is a simple case of finding the hole in the zone. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and then found his man. Yep, give the receiver some credit, too. He got open, then made a nice catch for the first down. Alabama comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Across the middle, and this one falls incomplete. Pro throw was the intended receiver on that pass, so that'll make it second down. It's second and 10. Ball on the 19. He's looking to pass. Throws it out there. He snags it. 
Well, Coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. Third From their own 24-yard line, it's third and five. Alabama goes with the ace set here. Steps up in the pocket. Let's it fly. Finds his receiver. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first down. And the receiver ran a nice route to get out between the zone coverage. First down. <laughs> Tackle at the 35-yard line. Lamb gains about a yard on the play. We've got second and nine here. Ball on the 35-yard line. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. And they got him. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. He throws a dart to the left. Got it. And he's taken down. With that pass, they pick up another first down. And coach, you can feel the momentum building with each first down in this drive. Yep. This offense is in pretty good rhythm right now. They line up at the 38. First down. Going with the shotgun here. He passes it. Touchdown! They made a great connection there for the touchdown, didn't they, fellas? What a quarterback threw a strike to the wide receiver. He caught it, took it all away. What a dangerous combination. You can't say enough about how good that throw was. The quarterback put that one right on the line. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. They use four linebackers. Carr drops back, throws it to the outside, and down he goes at the 34. The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. And they did grab nice recognition here by the quarterback to see that confusion and then take advantage of it. First and 10, ball on the 34. Alabama lines up defensively at the 3-4. He's under pressure. And he can't get away from the pressure. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Single set backfield. Carr steps back to pass. Steps up. Hit as he throws. Got it to him on the run. Good catch, and can this guy fly or what? I couldn't agree with you more. This kid's got to be one of the fastest guys that we've had the privilege of seeing all year. Congratulations to our players of the game. Both of these young men should hold their heads up high today. Single set backfield. Rolls to the left. Feeling the pressure. They can't connect. Incomplete. He was under some pressure there. Well, sometimes as a quarterback, you have so many things to worry about. What's the coverage? Where's the pressure coming from? And so on, that you lose focus at times throwing a catchable ball. Here, he just missed the target. Second and 10. Ball right around midfield. The Bulldog. Come out in the shotgun. Carr. Unload. Fletcher brings him down at the 45. And they pick up two yards. They line up at the 45. It's third down. The Bulldogs line up with four wideouts. Looking. Let's it go. They connect again. Great play to keep his feet in and get the first down. It takes tremendous concentration and field awareness to make a play like that. And the quarterback put it in a place where only his receiver could catch it. Nice throw. The Bulldogs come out in the ace formation. Cars drops to throw. Throws this one out to the left. Mosley with the interception. So they come up with another interception. What is it, Kirk? Three, uh, four interceptions? It's only been three, but it sure feels like a lot more. This defense has really exposed the weakness of this offense today.
Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Mother Nature has served up perfect weather for today's game between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Washington Huskies. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Huskies. The Huskies look like they're going to get killed out there. What do you think? The same thing, Kirk? Washington has spent all week trying to figure out how they're gonna slow this running back down. Really? In my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's gonna have a big day and a big win. You're absolutely right. I'm going with the yellow jacket. Georgia Tech has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. He sends it off. Bailey fields it at the three. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. This offense will live and die by their star quarterback. Do you think they'll be able to stop this kid today? I think a lot of people are expecting him to have a big game. I don't see why he won't. This kid has played against better defenses than this in his career, and he should have a great day picking apart this second one. I'm with you on this one, Kirk. The defensive line is going to have to put a lot of pressure on this kid to slow him down, because I just don't think these corners can stay with his receivers. Washington comes to the line with three wide. Tries to juke, and down he goes at the 31-yard line. They'll get two on that one. They line up at the 31. Third down. Browning with three wide receivers. Browning hands it off. And he's tackled at the 38. They picked up the first down on the ground attack. You know, great job there by the offense on a crucial third down lead to pick up that first down. Kirk, did you see the way those guys blocked on that play? That was beautiful. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. The Husky set up in the gun. Browning back to throw. Catches it. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. And he threw that ball in there nicely. Did you see that, Coach? Yes, I did, Brad. And that was a good pass and a very good game. It's second down and two to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. One man backfield. Inside handoff. He lost the ball. Randall with a recovery. How'd he lose that football, Coach? I'll tell you how he lost it. He looked like the halfback was carrying the ball like an antique vase or something. You can't do that. You gotta carry it like it's a football. Good field position here. They'll start this drive inside their opponent's territory. He's looking to pass. He delivers, and it's caught. He's taken down at the 46. They didn't get much on that pass. You know, this defense is too quick for plays like that to work. You gotta mix them up a little. They line up at the 46. Second down. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Incomplete. The tight end couldn't get back for that ball. From the 46-yard line, it's third and nine. Back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. He throws a dart to the left. He catches another. They convert on third and long, guys. Well, the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. Here's the throwback, and he's taken down at the 18-yard line. Four yards gain. It's second down. 
Recovers a loose ball. And that one's recovered by the cornerback. Funny because you usually don't see corners down there picking up loose balls. They're more. From the 18 yard line, it's second down. Inside here. And down he goes at the 11. That'll be a seven yard pickup. From the 11 yard line. It's third down and three to go. They'll line up in the power eye. Drops back to pass. Dumps it. He snags it. And he's tackled at the five. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination again. There you have it, folks. They really earned it out there today. The Yellow Jackets with a full house backfield. Knee on the give. It's on the ground. And I think one of the big guys fell on it for the defense. Not a good time to fumble the football. And that guy feels horrible about it. He's got to forget about it. Go out there and play hard the next time they hit the field. And believe me, this kid wants another chance to redeem himself. He won't fumble again. They'll get the ball here at the three-yard line. Washington comes out with an eye formation. Counter play. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Boy, with the tackle at the four. Hope gains about a yard on the play. That'll bring up second down. Second down. Washington sets up in the eye. Inside handoff. They'll bring him down at the six. Hope comes away with two yards on the carry. So that'll make it third down. They line up at the six. Third down, seven yards to go. Browning set to go to the air. Looks. Browning lets it go. He's taken down at the 10. Washington will take their first time out of the half. Washington lining up the punt. Number 14 awaits the snap. He gets it away. Bailey fields it to 48. What do you guys think this offense has to do to get their team back in this game? The field goal is out of the question. This offense needs to get the ball into the end zone. Yep, this is four down football. And there is not much time left in the game, so this will be most likely their last chance to score. Drop back to pass. Look in. Here comes the pressure. They'll sack him at the 49. Georgia Tech will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Second and 11. Ball right around midfield. He drops back. He steps up. And he's hammered as he lets it go. And he's hit immediately. Georgia Tech takes a timeout. That was their second timeout. It's first and 10. Ball on the 36. First down, look at the throw. He's rolling right. He's drilled as he throws, and it's intercepted. That's not what you want to do when you're losing this late in the game. Nope. At this late in the fourth quarter, my friends, that was probably their last chance.
Brad Nessler joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. There's still a lot of warm air out there for tonight's battle between the Oklahoma Sooners and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. And here come the Cornhuskers. I think this thing's a toss-up. We've got two teams today that can really get it done on both sides of the ball. Nebraska needs a big game from their talented running back, and I think they'll win the battle up front, and he's going to have a tremendous day. Look for him to lead them to victory, but Lee, it's going to be very close. Oh, Kirk. There's a chance I might even agree with you on this one. I'm picking the corner. Festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He kicks it off. Rodgers has it at the five. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. As this drive starts, let's talk about this running back, guys. Well, Brad, this kid is special. This offense runs a lot of their game plan around him, and he's going to have to have a good game for these guys to come out on top. You're right, Coach. This is a great linebacking core that he's going to go up against, and they are primed and ready for this game. Second down. Nebraska comes out of the shotgun. Brady back to throw. And it falls incomplete. He just couldn't connect with a wide receiver there. We've got third and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. He drops back. He's looking. Slings it left. Finds his receiver. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. And if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Rodgers is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He gets it to the back. Now down. Tackles him at the 44-yard line. Rodgers comes away with two yards on the carry. They line up at the 44. Second and eight coming up here. The Husker have three receivers bunched. Has it to the senior. Well, they pick up a few with a pass play, Coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. They'll line it up again on third down. Frazier comes to the line with three wide. Rodgers up the gut. Brought down at the 45-yard line. That run gives him the first down. You know, in the media conference a couple of days ago, the coach talked about how important it was for them to establish the running game. Let's see if this helps them open up the passing game in it. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Rodgers gets the call again. And down he goes at the 42. Rodgers gets three yards on the play. Second and seven coming up here. This is the eighth play of this drive. Nebraska comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Bounces off a would-be tackler. Merrill with a takedown at the 39. That's a three-yard pickup. The offense lines up trying to convert on third down here. The Husker come out in a two-tight end set. Steps up. Throws this one out to the left. Pruitt tackles him at the 34-yard line. And guys, you can just feel the momentum building with this drive. That's their third first down on this drive alone, Coach. Yep. We all know how important momentum is in college football. This defense really needs to step up and get some of it back. Frazier hands it off. Back 
tackle made at the 34. So at the most, he gains a few inches. It's second and 10, and this is the 11th play of the current drive. The Cornhuskers line up with a single set backfield. Frazier back to pass, over the middle, got the ball, and he catches it off the tip. And a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, this is what I like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. They line up in an eye. Rodgers takes it up the middle. And he's tackled at the seven. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. It's second down and two to go. This is the 13th play of this drive. Rodgers gets another hand on Brought down at the six. Rodgers picks up a yard on the play. That'll bring up third down. Third down and a yard. The Huskers go with the eye formation. Handoff. They'll bring him down at the one. The chain gang is on the move once again. I'm looking for the defense to change things up here. They haven't been able to figure out this offense. And anything, whether it's a blitz, anything to change up covered one way or another, the defense has to make some adjustments. They come out in a goal line set. And down he goes at the one-yard line. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. From the one-yard line, second down and goal. Looks like they're going to try to power this one in. Touchdown, Cornhusker. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. Four and nine. The Cornhusker line up the punt. McKnight awaits the snap. Oh, excellent punt. Clayton fields it at the 11. What do you expect from this offense at this point, fellas? I think this one is just too far out of reach. They need to score here, then recover an onside kick and score again. Although this game isn't over yet, I just don't think they can accomplish that feat with this much time left in the game. White with three wide receivers. First down, look at the throw. He passes it, complete, and he's tackled at the 26-yard line. Good pickup by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves the play. He wants the ball every time they throw it up. It's second down and two to go. Ball on their own 26. Murray lines up with the deep back. I formation. He throws it. Oh, great catch. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen held them long enough for the quarterback to throw for a first down. We've got a first and ten. They'll work from the shotgun. Look at the throw. Looking. He throws. And he can't make the catch. There's a flag down in the backfield, but I didn't see what happened. First and foul. Man, that first close. It looked like his momentum just carried him to the quarterback. That was definitely a late hit. He could have easily got out of the way. Instead, he just ran right through. Oklahoma comes to the line with three wide. He'll dump this one off. Number 13 with the interception. And the safety made a really nice play on the ball to grab the interception. This guy's got potential. I'll tell you what, he keeps it up. You might see him playing on Sundays.
to you from inside the dome here tonight for our battle between the Arkansas Razorbacks and the Buckeyes of Ohio State. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Buckeyes. The Buckeyes have a slight edge in this one, but Kirk, I think anybody can win. What are your thoughts? Ohio State looks to unveil their high-powered offense, and the guy to look out for is their wideout. Lee, I'll tell you what, this defense and this young secondary is going to have their hands full because I think they're a little overmatched. Kirk, great minds think alike. This one for you, Kirk. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Kicks it off. George fields it at the 13. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. This secondary's been waiting all week long to go up against this very skilled quarterback. How do you think they'll match up today? This kid is a great player, and I think as long as he doesn't try to force things too much, he's going to have a great game. This defense is going to have to show all kinds of looks today. If they don't keep this quarterback off balance, this game could be over at halftime. It's second and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. George lines up in the deep back, eye formation, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Third down. They line up in an eye. Looks to pass. He'll dump it short. Catches it. Brought down at the 24. They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. Burton is back awaiting the punt. He punts it. Burton takes it at the 33. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. They'll start at the 36-yard line. Number 15 to three wide receivers. First down, look at the throw. To the middle, it's his tight end. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here, and the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Number 15, back in the gun. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Second down now and 13 to go. They're in the eye. Ah, on the cross. 
They bring him down in the backfield. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. Great penetration in the backfield. For such a big guy, this guy's got some really quick feet. Once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. Back to pass. Steps up. Looks. They'll sack him at the 32. The protection just broke down. I'll tell you, though, Kirk, it's hard to keep this end away from the quarterback. Right? This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and it's good. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. It's about time they called him for holding. He's been holding on to jerseys all game. Scooter, these refs could probably call holding on every play if they wanted to. These guys get away with a lot. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. Arkansas to kick this one off. Galloway and George back ready to return. Kicks it away. George fields it at the 13. Guys, what are you thinking at this point in the game? At this point, I think this game looks like it's out of reach, Coach. <laughs> Not so fast, Kirk. It's only a two-possession game, and these guys won't give up. A quick score, an onside kick, and another quick score, and we're talking about a completely different situation. They'll throw on first down. But he's taken down at the 32. Nice little catch there, huh, Coach? Yeah, that was a good call. I like that call. I like short passes. They're safe and can lead to some really good yardage. Second down and five. Ball on their own 32. Ohio State sets up in the eye. He delivers, and it's caught. Daniel tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. That'll be a loss of one. Congratulations to our players of the game. Both of these young men should hold their heads up high today. Pryor lines up in the shotgun. Pryor back to throw. He rifles it. Got him on the run. Oh, boy. That is a nice play on third down. The quarterback found his receiver, and they connected on a big play. Big? That's an understatement, Kurt. This completion keeps the kick team off the field and gives them a new set of doubt. George is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Pryor, back to pass, steps up in the pocket. It's deflected. This one will fall incomplete. The quarterback really lucked out there. I thought they had a chance for an interception, but I'm sure they'll settle for the incompletion. It still was a good play. It's second and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. Ohio State goes with the ace set here. Pryor drops back to pass. Incomplete pass. Overthrew his intended target. We talked about this before, how pressure causes the quarterback to hurry his passes. Here he felt the blitz coming and got rid of the ball a little too quickly. A minute to go in the ball game. Ohio State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Steps up. Incomplete pass. They got to the quarterback a little late there. First and the defense lends them a hand with that penalty. Gosh, giving up penalty yards is so frustrating, isn't it? First and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Ohio State comes to the line with three wide. Dumps it, and it falls incomplete. Number 12 was the intended receiver on the play, so that'll make it second down. Second down, 10 yards to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. Going with the shotgun here. Pryor drops to throw. Across the middle. And he's tackled right away. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. They're in the eye. Pryor set to go to the air. Stepping up, 
He throws it. Oh, great hit. These guys are marching down the field, Kirk. I think this defense is getting tired. I think you're right. They look a little fatigued. But when you continue to give up first downs on third down, you're doing a lot for your confidence. I'll tell you something. They need to take the intensity that is working on first and second down and save some for third down because they're just getting out work. Pryor drops back. He throws left. Batted ball. That play may have saved the touchdown. The coach has got to love this kid. His instincts are superb, and he's always around the football. It's second down. The Buckeyes go with the eye formation. Let's it fly. Caught. Touchdown, Bucks. They utilize their halfback in the passing game, and he got into the end zone. Well, they know they can go to him in the red zone, and he'll make some things happen for them. And they're looking to get two points here. The Buckeyes come to the line with their jumbo package. To the end zone! Caught it, and the conversion is good. So we're down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game, and our score, Arkansas 22, Ohio State 15. Ohio State is ready to kick it away. Burton and Monk back deep to return. He kicks it off. Monk passes the five. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. They'll go to work at the 28. Back to pass. Let's it fly. And he brings it down. Benson with a takedown at the 45. A good play to the tight end that time. Yeah, and this is a play that we saw. Thank <laughs> you. 